We always said Downforce was going to have a big part to play in this. We knew there was going to be a difference between the two teams, but can you just explain what and why? They've came with two fundamentally different packages, and that's because regulations restrict the amount of aerodynamic development that you can do, so you can have two packages in the year. One, principally, is based around about Le Mans, because that is such a unique and also important race in the calendar, low downforce for the long straights. But then you also have a high downforce package for circuits like here or Shanghai or Bahrain. And uh, in that, there are some fundamental differences. Over obviously, the overall level, Porsche has came with their Le Mans package to try to develop that. Toyota has came with the ideal package for Silverstone, the high downforce. But when I look at the actual Porsche package, it still is higher than you would run at Le Mans. If you look at the flicks on the edges of the front light area, then they're running that. Those will disappear at Le Mans. If you look at uh, the rear section, underneath the rear wing, what we call the deck gurney, they've got one of the biggest deck gurneys I've seen in such a long time to try to give balance and also to give grip. But mainly as well, if you look at the front, where the Toyota has got a high nose, allows airflow through the car, and that gives downforce. It also gives a drag. The uh, Porsche, it's actually got that quite closed off and that's for the efficiency of the long straights at Le Mans. Both packages have got their benefits and both of them can be slightly adapted as we go through the course of the race uh, season itself. But right here, right now, definitely on uh, the corners, you've got to go with the Toyota one, but in the straights, you go with the Porsche one. Well, we will just have to wait and see who will be smiling at the end of the race.